Multiplying and dividing numbers on your calculator is very straightforward. Just want to make a quick video just explaining what buttons to push and, and what to be careful of when you're multiplying or dividing numbers on a calculator. So I'm, I'm assuming you have a graphing calculator. Even if you don't have a graphing calculator, this should still work. Basically, you just type the two numbers you want to multiply. Like if you want to do 7 times 3, you would push 7 and then there sh should be a times key, normally the, the small x indicating times, and then you push three and enter, or equals, and you'll get the answer. It's very, very simple. Really the only thing I would recommend that you look out for and to be careful for is multiplying or dividing by a negative quantity. Um, there's a minus key and there's a negative key, and you have to make sure to, to type the correct one. For instance, if you did, if you wanted to do negative 10 divided by 2, but you typed minus 10 divided by 2, it would give you an, an error if you tried to, to compute this. Um, so you can see on your screen here, it gives you a syntax error. So all you would need to do instead is to do negative 10 divided by 2 and you'll get your answer. Um, one nice thing that calculators are very helpful for, of course, is doing products or quotients that are much larger than we're able to do in our head or that would take a long time to do on pencil and paper. If you had 131 times 79, type it in, push enter, and we quickly see it's 10,349. So uh, calculators can be a, a great help. Uh, I would, however, say be careful that you don't become too dependent on a calculator, even though it can do great things. Uh, if you can do it in your head, that's obviously much faster. So I usually tell my students, if you have anything under 12 times 12, you should be able to do that in your head and not have to get out your calculator and turn it on and type all this and that. Um, if it's anything under 12 times 12, you should just automatically be able to say it. But um, for speed and for big numbers, the calculator is an awesome way to go.